I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in his presence before his precious word. For a meditation today let's turn to Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14. Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Yesterday we were meditating on the atmosphere of heaven where the holiness of the Lord is the main proclamation there. Do prophet Isaiah heard the voice of the seraphims proclaiming holy 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 the servant of god is just like us he might have not understood completely the meaning of the word holy it is our assumption because it is impossible for an unholy human being to understand what holiness means That is why God taught the children of Israel what holiness is through the dwelling place of God the tabernacle Everything that was used in the tabernacle was declared holy by the living God Even the vessels and the people who ministered there were totally separated for the Lord When the Babylonian emperor Belshazzar dared to use the vessels of the temple for his own pleasure the same moment his kingdom was taken away from him god is not concerned about how mighty or great the emperor is as the law of holiness does not change for anyone whether it be adam or belsesser or king david or solomon or king herod or even for us if we are the children of god the lord will be tough with us Holy means separated for God and will be used only for God's divine purpose. So we are separated by God for himself. Heaven wants God's perfect will to be done in our lives. If our desires rule our lives then we are counted unholy in the sight of the Lord. Look at the life of Jesus. As the Lord was proclaimed holy at the time of his birth. The angel angel said to Mary Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the son of God. It was the proclamation of heaven that Jesus is holy. And look at the fruit of that holy savior man Christ Jesus. It was to do the will of the father obedient till his death so that the holy will of the father was fulfilled in his life. So the life of Jesus remained holy always as nothing unholy was there to defile that holy life. Jesus himself asked the world boldly, which of you convinceth me of sin? We too are made new at the time of our new birth as we are born of God. And many think that we have that imparted nature of holiness and righteousness of Christ in us so there is no need for us to focus on it any more. Their attitude seems as if it is the duty of Holy Spirit God to take care of them and keep them holy. Yes, we are able to stand in the presence of Holy God because we are clothed with the righteousness and holiness of Christ. But dwelling in the holy place of heaven, are we leading a holy life that only allows that perfect will of God to be fulfilled in our lives? The child of God must know the seriousness of his calling. He is called for a holy life to be perfect like the father in heaven let not holiness be just a label upon us but let it be the part of our nature look at the appointed high priest of the old testament he wore a holy crown upon which it was engraved holiness to the lord but he wore it only in the presence of the lord he could not wear it when he is away from the holy dwelling place of the lord then look at us We are seated in the holy heavenly places in Christ. We do not have an option to be cut off from the Lord every now and then. We live in Christ as our life is in Christ. The word of God tells us we need to follow or pursue holiness and it is the command of the holy God. It is the duty of a child of God to follow peace and holiness. It is not to follow holiness only on Sundays, but each moment of your life. Even without holiness you can be a good person do many good things of your own 
be a comfort and helping hand for the society but remember without holiness you can never see god it is not a herculean task that god demands from us we are saved and born again and seated in heaven in christ and above all we have the holy spirit god in us to lead us in the true path god just wants us to follow his path of holiness so that we remain in him always without holiness heaven will never have that responsibility concerning our lives if you pursue holiness then the lord god who is jealous of the holy vessels that was used for ministering in the holy pleasant presence of the lord will be jealous and take care of you more preciously as you are the apple of his eye when we stand for holiness we may be stamped as old fashioned or narrow minded or uneducated who are not fit for this century but remember heaven will be proud and will be watchful over us then you will enjoy the peace and joy of the heavenly place in your lives you will have that comfort that you are the dwelling in the holy presence of the lord your soul will be satisfied with the glorious presence of the lord always in this sinful world that will give you the strength to face the temptations of sin that comes in your life so let us be vigilant and ask holy spirit god to give us the strength to keep our life holy in this sinful world so that we may be able to stand before the lord filled with the beauty of holiness and may the lord help us for that let us pray father we praise you and thank you for this beautiful time that you have given us and thank you lord for teaching us concerning your holiness or without it which no one can see you lord help us to understand how serious holiness is and strive labor hard to meet the heavenly standards our only desire be that your will be done through our lives thank you lord may your name be glorified in jesus most holy name we pray amen may god bless you our lord is coming very soon maranatha